The following excerpt is from an MSNBC article on the prevalence of genital herpes in the population. Despite the decline, blood tests of more than 11,000 people found 11% of men and 23% of women carried the genital herpes or type 2 virus. Among people in their 20s, the infection rate was almost 11%. Use the information from the article to determine the probability that among 13 randomly selected women, none of them are infected with genital herpes. Okay, so I've underlined some key phrases in the problem here that are going to help us solve it. These key phrases tell me right away that it's the multiplication rule of probability we're dealing with here. The reason why is because they ask us to determine the probability, so I know it's a probability question, that among 13 randomly selected women, the fact that it's more than one tells me it's multiplication rule possibly, and then it says that none of them are infected with general herpes. So this is a simple case that all of them have the same condition, that they're not infected with the disease. So if you have more than one thing selected, in this case all of them are doing the same thing, they're all not infected, then we're going to assume it's multiplication rule of probability. So we can solve it by first writing out a probability statement and then plugging in the appropriate probabilities. So let's get a statement going that would help us solve the problem. We're going to look for the probability that none of the 13 women selected um, have the, let's just call it the type 2 virus. Okay, so that's the problem we need to answer, right? Now, whenever I see that I have 13 things selected, I need to draw 13 probability spaces to hold the probabilities for each individual event, right? Well, I'm not going to actually write out 13 spaces, so I'm going to do a little dot, dot, dot here, and then kind of end, and we can assume that there are 13 spaces here. I've just cut out a few of them. All right, now, next thing you want to do when you go to solve a problem like this is to identify what should go here, right? What's that first space representing? Then what's the second space representing, etc.? Well, I'm going to say this first state space is the probability that the first woman does not have the virus, right? That's what we're looking for, the probability that the first woman does not have the virus. All right, well, do we have that information in the problem somewhere? Well, you can see I underlined this number here because this said 23% of women carry the general herpes or type 2 virus. So 23% have the virus. So 23% is the number that have the virus. So look, if the probability that someone has the virus, right, from the female population is 23%, right? If that's the case, I should be able to get the remaining number, the number that do not have it, the probability that a person does not have the virus by simply doing 1 minus the probability that they have the virus, right? This is the complement idea. So whatever you have here, probability of not A is always equal to 1 minus the probability of A. Probability of not having the virus is 1 minus the probability of a subject having the virus. So this should indicate to us that the answer then is 1 minus point. Two, three, and that will work out to be 0.77. So 77% of women do not have the virus, right? And that makes sense, right? 23% have it, 77% do not have it. So the probability that that first woman I select doesn't have the virus, 77%. All right, now, I want them all to be the same, right? I want all the women not to have the virus. So that means I want the next woman not to have the virus, the next one not to have it, the next one not to have it. And we're going to assume that this scenario is independent. So the reason why independent again is because I don't think if I grab another randomly selected woman from a totally perhaps different place in the country or whatever, that that woman should not be affected by whatever this woman had, right? If she had the disease, this one wouldn't necessarily be more or less likely to have it. So we'll assume that uh, that is independent in that regard. In terms of, um, you know, putting the subject back, you may say, well, you're not going to take the same woman again, so you might actually have a dependent scenario because there's less women in the population now once you've pulled this woman out and looked at her status, right? Well, the reality is, though, the sample of 13 is so small compared to the overall population of women that I can treat it as if it's independent, even, in, even if, in fact, it's not independent, right? That's because the sample size here is so small, so we don't have to worry about that issue of, you know, we wouldn't take the same woman twice, so therefore we're kind of sampling without replacement, but it's okay here because the sample size is relatively small compared to the, um, you know, millions of women that are in the United States or for that matter in the world, right? Okay, so let's look at uh, this next space and say, well, this would be the probability that the second woman does not have the virus. We would assume that's the same 77%. And it would be the same for the third woman and the same for the fourth woman. 
and fifth, sixth, seventh, da, 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 all the way up to the 13th woman, there'd be a 77% chance that those women do not have the virus. Now, that means that our overall solution is 0.77 to the 13th power, because there are 13 of these numbers multiplied together. And that'll give us the answer. Let's see what that number turns out to be. So we'll end up with 0.77 raised to the 13th power. And we end up producing the following results, 0 0.0334, which is basically 3.34%. So um, not a very large number, right? Not a very large number, not a high probability of that. So if you randomly select 13 women from the population, um, you have a very small chance of randomly selecting 13 women who do not carry the virus, so all of them not carrying the virus, right? That means that uh, there's probably a good chance that at least one of them does have the virus.